Hey again everybody, this is always back with another video on the channel. This video is going to be about testing Android Studio on Apple Silicon MacBook Air. Now I'm going to go and install Android Studio using JetBrains Toolbox. I right hear it's installing. It's the same thing that you go and download the package. I'll be creating a new project and we'll be building it and running it in an emulator. So all of this testing will be will be able to show you that whether you should switch to this Apple Silicon Mac if you're an Android developer. So let's just wait for this Android Studio to be downloaded and installed. Once done, then I will go and create a new project and then we will build it and we'll try to run that in uh, Android emulator. That's going to be a really, uh, really good way to, you know, find out if this is actually the machine, if you're an Android developer. Okay, so Android Studio has installed. I'm going to open that up. Click on open. Okay, so after it finished downloading, I get to see an error. It says unable to install Intel HAXM. Your CPU does not support VT-X. Unfortunately, your computer does not support hardware accelerated virtualization. So here's some workaround that it's telling me use a physical device for testing, develop on a Windows and develop on a Linux computer. What I'm gonna do is click on finish at least we can see Android Studio running. I'm going to click on create a new project and I will use just basic activity. Click on next. Okay. Let's click on finish and the project is created. I want to find out if I'm able to use an external phone. Am I able to test? If that's the case, then yeah, I should be able to program. My main concern is if actually all the packages which exist in the Android world works on this machine and I'm able to run those on my uh, mobile device. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab the real uh, Android phone and let's see if I'm able to build this. It's now downloading Gradle. So let's let it finish and I'm gonna... All right, so I'm gonna be using uh, Google Pixel 4a for this testing. So let me just plug that mobile in. It's MacBook Air. I think I'm, I have enabled a developer version. Still downloading Gradle. So this will tell me if, uh, if the Gradle runs as well. So very excited to see this running. All right, so you guys can see the phone uh, on a screen side by side with this. Uh, it's still going on guys. It's still taking quite a bit of time uh, to actually download Gradle and I hope I hope this will about One two three it says you're already a developer. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna plug that in again If I go to settings, I'll go to advanced developer options and I want to turn on USB debugging. That's what it's saying Okay, it's tap to turn off. All right, I'm gonna say allow from this computer and I should be able to see Google Pixel 4a. Wow, that's pretty cool guys. Uh, so if I click on this play, I should be able to run the application on my device. So it says greater build running. So we'll find out. That's, that's, that's really interesting that if I'm able to run my code, which is I think Kotlin code. Yes, it is Kotlin. So you guys can see on the computer, yes, I am able to run the application. So it says, hello, first fragment. Okay, success. As you can see on the phone, it works. 
Okay, so good news guys, if you have a real Android device, you can actually do a Android development and you can run Android Studio. And in terms of performance, my feedback for this Android Studio and you know my suggestion for you guys as well, in terms of performance, I did not see any issues at all. Uh, I ran really heavy projects as well. Uh, and yeah, I can't show you those projects actually, but I ran the big Android projects in Android Studio on a real device. Uh, and it worked pretty good. Uh, there's no fan, there's no heat coming out from MacBook Air, and it is it is absolutely amazing. Just have a real device, and that's about it. That's all you need to actually uh, do your Android development on Apple MacBook or Apple Mac Mini or Mac Air uh, with silicon. All you need is real device. Alright, I hope this video helped and helped you to make a decision whether you should be buying this computer for Android development or not. Cheers.